had a very strange dream last night. Maybe you can help me figure out what it means. But I have to warn you before I start. It's very, very weird. When the dream starts, I'm sitting on top of a dinner plate. But it's not a normal plate. It's a gigantic plate, like the size of a city. So I look down, and I notice that the plate is made out of this really fancy china, and it has this delicate little tree pattern all over it. The leaves branch out in every possible direction. For the longest time, I'm mesmerized by the pattern. I keep tracing my finger over it, following the branches in all these different directions. And I notice that I'm dressed very oddly. I'm wearing a purple sari. But it's not an ordinary sari. It's way too big for me. There's enough fabric for at least a hundred saris. And it's draped over my shoulders so tight that I can barely move from the weight of it. And all I can think is, what in the world am I doing here? The dream gets weirder. The plate starts to shake. It feels like an earthquake, only it doesn't stop after 15 seconds, it keeps going. The plate starts to crack. It's breaking up all around me, and the cracks are getting bigger, and they're everywhere. Like the earth is breaking itself apart into thousands of little puzzle pieces. And I don't know why this pops into my head, but suddenly I realize that the reason I'm wearing this ridiculously oversized sari is that I'm supposed to use the sari to stop the earthquake. <laughs> okay, it doesn't make sense when you say it out loud like that, but in the dream, it made perfect sense. So I start unrolling the sari from my body. I'm on my hands and my knees, crawling all over the shaking dinner plate, smoothing out the fabrics on top of the cracks. And everywhere I get the cloth on the plate, the china stops shaking and the cracks start to heal. So now I'm unrolling myself as fast as I can, laying out the fabric and crisscrosses all across the plate, trying to go as fast as I can so I can stop the whole thing from falling apart. And I feel happy because I know I'm helping, but, but I also feel scared because the plate is so big and I can still see it shaking far in the distance in every direction I can see and I know that I can't cover all that ground by myself. And that's when I wake up. I told you it was weird. Obviously I know it's not a, a literal memory of something that actually happened to me, but it must be a symbolic memory. The thing is, I have no idea what the symbols represent. I hope you can help me figure it out.